So, have you ever had this happen to you? Hey, shit, we might do it. Uh oh. Uh. Um. Okay then. So Roblox uses something called a floating point number to calculate what coordinate you're at. In binary, obviously, since that's what computers use for this sort of stuff, like no matter what you do. And it was these numbers used around 4 bytes or 32 bits to calculate your position. 1 is a sine, 1 is negative, and 0 is positive. This does not matter like at all. 8 is for the exponent, negative 128 to 127. And the last round, like 23, are for the actual number itself, which is raised to the power of the previous 8 bits. Now the thing is, weird ass things start happening once you get to ridiculously high numbers. Because uh, the floating point thing overflows. So um, yeah, just as a fair warning, uh, things will start getting really weird really soon. So between around 0 and 16,384 suds away, you don't notice even the remotest thing wrong with your character. Like, it looks fairly normal, and nothing is honestly really wrong here. After this point, though, y you gotta zoom in. Maybe even zoom in a little more, and... Zoom in even more. And even more. Even this close to spawn, you can still notice slight things happening with you and the stuff around you. And honestly, most people probably won't actually notice it, unless they really try, even, like, they just won't notice much here. And you can still play completely normally if you really wanted to. After this point, things start becoming actually noticeable, even without zooming in. This is around at least 65,536 studs away, though. And at this point in their journey to the Null Zone, it isn't really that noticeable, and you can still even play games mostly normally without any actual issues. But this is just simply a showcase of what is still to come. Two million ninety-seven thousand one hundred and fifty-two studs. This is the first actual barrier in the game. So at this point, you end up hitting a wall where you can't go further unless you go faster than the 16 walk speed that's normally set, which is about 16 suds per second. Actually, it's exactly 16 suds per second. Yes, I tested that. So the reason is because every physics update, which is every 1 60th of a second no matter what, unless your RPS is under 60, if you're walking forward by any chance, you will go roughly 16 over 60 studs, which is 0.266 repeating per frame. You can actually notice this sort of thing at 1,048,076 studs out also, since your position there is exactly 0 0.0625 studs, and since your character barely walks fast enough to pass the floating point barrier required, it just warps over to the next one. Actually, this is what happens in literally any game ever, no matter what. Where whenever you're out enough to actually see this kind of warping, the game takes whatever close you are to either barrier and runs up or down depending on how close you are. So let's say there are two barriers one stud apart. If you're 0.5 studs or more from the barrier that's furthest away from you, you'll stay back from it. But if you're closer than that, you'll just still be warped to the next one. <laughs> but the thing is, when you're trying to cross the 2.097 million stud barrier, you can't cross that rounding point required to warp and it's not even close. And also at this point, the camera and shadows are starting to become sort of screwy. The only way to get anywhere at this point is either moving faster than 16 studs per second, or teleporting. So at around 16.777 million studs away, moving starts uh, becoming kind of weird. Sometimes you can move normally, and others you just straight up walk into the ground. No, really. Here's a little demonstration of that, actually. As you can see, one minute I'm chilling on the base plate, and the other I'm just in the ground. Oh yeah, I also forgot to mention that this happens to terrain apparently. Um, okay, well I just figured this out, and it was back to the video. Yeah, so this is because at 16,777,216 suds out, we crossed the point where precision is exactly one sud. 
This thing where we fall into the ground a bit only happens on the Y axis though. Also, remember that floating point chart I showed earlier, where there are only about 23 bits to use as the number? We now have officially run out of bits to use for any precision at all. This means that beyond here, limits will start becoming incredibly set apart, and soon you won't even be able to see your character anymore. Shadows have also broken. They're already way back before this, but now it's just a massive flashing circle around you with 8 million studs, and at 16 or 17 million, it covers literally the entire base plate if you're on the Y axis. On others, it just doesn't really show up whatsoever unless you're on a specific range of numbers, and it's also only on one axis. Also from now on, all the things showcased after the next section will only be on the Y axis, and we aren't even halfway done yet. So this one applies to every axis. Once you get to, get this, 67,108,864 studs away, you can't even see yourself anymore unless you're on the Y axis. This is because the precision is now to 4 studs at the very best. Not 0.4, literally 4. On top of this, the camera is now started to glitch out, only working on very, very specific X and Z angles, all multiples of 90 degrees. So 90, 180, 270, and also 360, which is also zero. Shadows have officially entirely broken also, now just being a black circle with a black ring around it. Between 134,268,536,000,000 and 1.073 billion, absolutely nothing else happens anymore, except for the same stuff I described before, but only worse every step of the way. But then when we get to 2,147,483,647, the camera just straight up doesn't work anymore, and I do not know why this happens either. Maybe the percentage is just so bad that when you try moving the camera, it just physically can't anymore due to this stupid floating point barrier issue. As at this point, precision is now 128 studs. There isn't anything else actually noticeable here at all, actually, so let's just move on to... One trillion studs. Yes, actually, the next limit is around, but not exactly at this point. So around this area, the skybox starts to flash black out of nowhere, and it seems like only at very specific angles, too. This bug seems to also wax and wane as you go further up into the sky. Like, let's say at 1 trillion it's pretty bad, and then around 500 it's not as bad. But it gets really bad around 1 quadrillion, it's sort of like that. And at some point, and I'm not sure where, it ends up basically disappearing completely, which leaves you with a normal skybox. So from 1 trillion all the way to the real limit, almost nothing even happens anymore other than the floating point bug getting worse and worse over time. Regardless, this is Roblox's actual limit. You can't go further than this, and if you do by teleporting, you get warped to 2.147483 billion studs. I don't know why either. I guess it's just a randomly chosen number or something. Now if you wanted to go above that, this happens. So instead of Roblox simply crashing, the skybox becomes black, your health crashes to nothing, and the sound that happens when you get hit by a rocket launcher is played. And honestly, if that's an easter egg, it's a pretty neat one at that, and I think 99.99999% of people at minimum don't actually know about. And uh, yeah, that's it. That's all there really is to see. We've gone from this to this. And along the way, we've broken barriers that realistically nobody would ever really reach anyway. So, uh, yeah, I think that's pretty cool.